Well, hello there. Welcome to the welcome to the paranormal highway. Hello, great people. I'm so glad you're here. Now, today's show, gotta give you a little disclaimer. Dr. Wood's gonna be coming on. That's not the disclaimer. What the disclaimer is, we're gonna no, there's gonna be some religion in this video. I know some of you out there are real religious and you don't like hearing that kind of stuff. But when you talk about the devil, you know, you got you to gotta talk about religion. So we're going to talk about it. So relax, kick back, don't get angry at me. Just, you know, calm down. But we got to talk about the devils, the demons that are within the people on this freaking planet. It's like, it's almost like, should we be afraid of hell? Should we be afraid of seeing the devil themselves? Or what? What about the people that are evil? Some cases, they're the devil you know. Right there. So kick back. Have a great time. Going to play a little intro. Go to the bathroom. Say Blood and Mary three times. Come back. And we're going to have a kick-ass show. And Bob will be in in a few minutes. He's rebooting his computer. Because that's just... That's the way it happens. Here we go. I'll see you back after the intro. Welcome, everybody. You see Dr. Wu right there. Now, yes. people, when I'm talking about the devil, you know. We know if you're in the religion world, heaven, hell, angels, Jesus, God, and you got the demons, you got Satan, you got Lucifer, 666, whatever you want. But what I'm yeah. talking about is the devil, you know, the, the people that you're supposed to trust. The people in the like, like the pre the preachers, the ministers, the pope, presidents, people that supposed to be the ones you look up to, you know, the police officers, all that, you know, the people you're supposed to trust in life, and they're the ones who are the devil. It's almost oh, like Bob. I know you, you, your archaeology. You study, you, you know, you read the Bible. You studied the demons and all that. But it's yeah. almost like, Bob, we live in a world that, I don't know, it's like, I don't know if I'm afraid of the devil, the demon, the devil's hand. It's like, I'm more afraid of people backstabbing you than the evil itself. Does that make sense? Well, they're possessed. They're possessed. I mean, remember, there's uh, there's two different types of possession. There's uh, fully possessed and partially possessed. And uh, fully possessed means you give 100% permission for everything. That's why you have a Beyonce, you got an Elon Musk, you got a Donald Trump, you got a fucking Joe Biden. They're all they're all 100% gave into their uh, family of uh, 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 gin. You know, every every family has their own uh, gin or demon or whatever they they grow up as a child, and then they they give in. They as a child they're presented to the. And then they give in, and that, that demon gives them everything they need in life. Because that means they're completely, fully possessed. But uh, You ever believe partially... that some people yeah. are just organically evil without being possessed? Yeah, that's or, partially Are you possessed. using it as a metaphor? No, that's partially possessed. So partially possessed is when you got a demon that annoys the shit out of you until you give in to possession. Which means, like, they'll hang the carrot in front of the horse. And the horse is always walking around trying to get, but he can never make ends meet. Finally, they will make the offer. A demon will make the offer, and then they'll get fully possessed. I mean, when it comes to possession. So a lot of these uh, people we have, we are talking about, uh, they're all they're all one hundred percent family owned, peer, uh, whatever, fully possessed people. I'm sorry, guys. I have a party going on, so I'm at I'm at uh, we're having a party. So if you got party, my, yeah. Whoa! Yeah. <laughs> a party. That's 
Yeah. I'll tell you what, that sounds like a fun ass time. Yeah, it is. It's quite fun at all. And I'm not possessed at all. I don't need to be possessed to have a good time. Well, you know, the reason I was thinking of this, right? I, I actually, I, I told you yesterday, I was driving in my car. Yeah. And I was just driving in my car. I was actually, um, I didn't even, I didn't even put the two together when I called you because I called you before I was headed to the devil's hand. I was telling them I'm getting ready to go there yesterday. I asked you to call me if if it doesn't go right. When live, yeah. Which you did, and we fixed yeah. that. But I was telling you that, you know, right before I called you, the song Ozzy Osbourne came on. Oh, yeah. Man. And, yeah. And I didn't think about putting that with the devil's hand, but the Miracle Man is basically a song about Jimmy Swagger. Yeah, I and, believe it. I believe and, it. And, and the thing is, uh, the, the reason the song is about Jimmy Swagger, if, if people don't know, like like the story, like when uh, uh, when the kid who uh, I don't know what you can say on YouTube, who uh, maybe no longer on this planet because they claim the song suicide ten, or suicide uh, Tennessee, uh, the Aussie song. So so Jimmy took the religion world and attacked Ozzy like he's the devil, he's the demon. Yeah. You know, Sorry. He's, he's the one that's that's darkness. Jet. But what turns out was that Jimmy was taking money from his people, taking money from donations, and he was buying himself hookers, whores, whatever you want to yeah. call it. He was doing cocaine. And he got yeah. caught. And he got caught. Yeah. So, yeah. so Miracle Man is Miracle Man. You got you got busted. You know, you got caught. Well, I mean, busted. like like making fun of him, like you said I'm bad. You're the yeah. one who's actually the devil, not me. Yeah. I mean, I've done I've done cocaine on the back of uh prostitutes' backs uh, and their well their butts, their gluteus maximus areas, because that's just something you do as a child growing up, as a teenager. There's a difference the between there's a difference between you. You don't make yeah. claims to be no, I don't. Man no. of God, to like, like you're, no. you're, you're supposedly you're supposed yeah. to teach people morals. That yeah, this is yeah, not yeah. What you want to do, and you, and he was doing it. Yeah, and he was like, he was like blamed it all on Ozzy, which Ozzy yeah. cheated on his wife. That's all true and all that. But you well, know yeah, what I mean? yeah, but yeah. he was one of doing it. Like here, I uh, this is what it says about um. Jimmy Swagger here. This is what it says. Despite his tearful on air apology, I remember February that. 1988, Swagger was defrocked by the uh, symbolists of God in April. We continue to act as an independent Pentecostal preacher. In October 1991, police in uh, Indio, California, found Swagger in the company of prostitution again. Yeah. After shopping him for traffic violations. And then right here, as of 2023, Bob, Swagger yeah. remains senior pastor of yeah. Family Worship Center. So my question to yeah. you about this is, are the people who still support him, who still lets him be the senior of, yeah. of the religion world, aren't they the demons themselves? Too? Well, not not necessarily, because you got to understand. Um, now, I, number one, I'm not a Christian, and now he's a Christian. And uh, if you go back to your uh, whatever book, Bible, whatever, um, uh, Jesus himself is in fact a wine bibber. So he's a, he's also a drunkard. So he's listed as a drunkard in the book, whatever. So he's a drunkard in a wine bibber, and he also uh, he also fraternizes with prostitutes. So in theory, you know, he's not really breaking any rules. If he was you, blessing if, them. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. If you're following, if you're following the book, if you're like going through the book, and it depends on the individual and interpretation. Well, hell, he's probably getting drunk and getting a little high, just like Jesus did, and he probably had himself a prostitute or two. And then he goes back and he preaches how everything is wrong about it. You know, I mean, I guess that's what you do as as religion goes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, it's, I don't. I'm, 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 only, I'm, you know, I'm an ar archaeologist, anthropologist. I took theology, and I'm like, oh, so he 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 calls himself a drunkard, huh? I can't get mad at that guy if he worships the worships of a drunkard. If he worships of a drunkard and he has a prostitute like he did, so I guess everything's fine. So I don't hate them. <laughs> oh, no, here, oh, oh. these are uh, other 
people, Bob. Yeah. Who's who, uh, who's who fallen religious leaders? And well, the they, thing is about this about this list. Yeah. Not they're just not all one religion. They're no. all different religions. Like, like well, yeah. You know, the Prophet Muhammad had a uh, well. I think his uh, wife was six years old, and then um, he he actually uh, did the whole consummation thing when she was twelve. So you have that. And then you got Buddha. Now let's we don't even want to start down the fucking Buddha fucking path. Well, that dude rolled all kinds of shit, man. Well, let's let's see so, who's on this list. First of all, you got religion. Uh, you got Ted Haggard, he's a Christian. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I guess uh three years ago, the people New Life Church in Colorado Springs yeah. grappled with their uh pastor Ted Haggard revealed to them he's guilty of sexual immor <laughs> immortality. immorality. He is uh he's a deceiver and a liar, and he purchased meth uh, methamphetamine from from a gay prostitute who claims yeah, he had a three year relationship with <sighs> evangelical leader. And again, look at this is not about somebody being gay or not. That's fine, but no, nah, it's fine. He's just an underage child. Church, if... Him had his church go after the gay community, turning yeah. out that he was part of the community in a way. Well, he, he pro I'm not trying yeah. to get thrown off a YouTube. Well, he had methamphetamines with an uh, underage male prostitute, but that, th again, that's Christianity. That's fine. It's what they do. Oh, yeah. So, so maybe he was possessed by the devil and the he drugs. Possessed by the devil, what, or yeah, but the Holy Spirit, or whatever they want to call it. Yeah. Well, maybe, here you, you know, go, Bob. Here's yeah, a Buddhist. Here oh, cool. Buddhist. Uh, Zant Richard Baker, Buddhist, uh. says here, offense while teaching Buddhist. Uh, 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 precepts such as do no harm. Mm. <laughs> Baker, the abbot of SFZC from 71 to 83, was found to be having affairs with uh, prominent contributors as close friends, wife, and other students. He oh. also caused controversy by funding his lavish lifestyle with the work of people who earn very little. So he was taking money from very little people that don't have a lot of money. And yeah. you know, he was having fun with his students. I mean, that's what they do anyway. Buddhists beg for money. They don't want to work. They have a bowl, and it's called a begging bowl. And they run around doing blessings for people and uh, whatever's with their begging bowl. So I imagine, you know, he's just begging. He's just got a begging bowl. I mean, it's within his religion's rights. That's what Buddhists do. They beg for money. They don't. They're not going to go out and labor. I mean, go out and walk around with a fucking bathrobe on and ask for fucking money from hardworking people. So he's probably following the religion, uh, like just as good as the other ones with the prostitutes. So I, I, I see the logic. I'm not hating well, that. Let's man. see who else. Okay, we got Jim Baker. Of course, he's a oh, Christian. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Jim Baker, uh, an uh, Assemblies of God minister, hosted a popular 1980 show. The PTL Club, which I remember that was huge. I remember TV, that. Yeah. And people love watching with his, with his then wife, Tammy Faye. Yeah, Faced, she had uh, tattooed I she tattooed her, she tattooed makeup on her face. She had tattooed makeup on like literally. I'm like, how is it that she has the same makeup on? And, and someone says, nah, she tattoos the so she tattoos makeup on her face. What a way to go. Yeah, I that's, know. That's, her, and, that's his life. Yeah. What made this guy yeah. evil is uh baker asked his followers to donate money for a charitable projects eventually it was revealed that baker was using much of the money to fund his lifestyle yeah. his message of remaining faithful to one spouse who also soiled when news came out that he had an affair with jessica han oh yeah i remember yeah. that jessica, han, jessica, jessica han. han his former secretary Prostitute, yeah. Well, I mean, technically prostitute, which is within the lines of Christianity, because Jesus himself, you know, rolled with the prostitutes out in the uh, olive grove. He remember Jesus hung out in the people with the olive olive grove. That's where all the prostitutes and the criminals and everybody hung out. So, yeah, and I then, can see it. I can see him following that. Well, track. where he got busted was Baker oh. was charged with fraud and tax evasion, since yep. forty five years in jail. Not long after beginning his present term, he and Faye were divorced. Of course, she's going to divorce him. Oh, of uh, course. Baker's wrote an autobiography, I Was Wrong, in which yeah, he apologized yeah. for his crime. The funny thing is, 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 you know, since he did wrong, he had to be punished. And so they got him on a tax evasion. And, you know, we still have Joe Biden and Donald Trump running where they tax evasion every year. <laughs> Everybody. Yeah, but I always, I always remind people. They when all they get, do it. They everybody do it. does. 
Who but gives a shit about the financial uh, system? What's that famous uh 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 uh, uh, uh that famous um you know gangsters? Oh oh, uh, Capone. Where oh, they Al couldn't Capone. get him for all the murders and stuff, but tax but evasion. they got they had the scapegoat of tax evasions because everybody does it. Yeah, and he died in uh, Alcatraz from syphilis. However, not to go into that area, it is a, it is a Mandela in the effect. world. He did it, yeah. Yeah, in the Mandelavic world, he did not die in Alcatraz from syphilis. He died at home after he was released. I'm like, oh wow. Yeah. <laughs> and look at this. In the next one, it's Hindu. Oh yeah. Yogi Amrit Dise Guru. Uh, gu, guru. What the fuck that says? Okay. It says Good. after requiring celibacy or rah, whatever that fucking word is of his life is disposed for more than 20 years. Uh, three of his Hindu gurus, female followers, including oh, the yeah. CEO of his center, revealed alterous affairs with him in 1994. Yep. Some residents were also surprised to learn that the guru they serve earned little money in the name of Seva, who was making more than 150000 Sounds like all he really did was just have it, had an affair with three women. I mean, they yeah, didn't say I mean, they're prostitutes or nothing. So I mean, no, I guess that's not that's not bad. Well, I mean, we got to look at this. I mean, compared I don't know to the got, others. Well, I mean, compared to uh, uh, uh whatever about Gandhi, you know Gandhi, you know the you know Gandhi, right? Yeah, of course, everybody knows Gandhi. Well, okay, well, did you know that Gandhi? Um, in his bed had uh, I think it was she was twelve years old. He, yeah, he, he had, had an affair. Of, he had underage. Yeah, he was known for well, that. He, yeah. He, well, he had underage girls in his bed, and so when people confronted him about it, like, okay, dude, we get that you're uh, whatever's man. You know, you're all about the fucking whatever's. However, it don't look good with you having underage girls in your bed. Now he justified it by saying that they bring up his chi, his karma, that he's not releasing his seed. He is building up his all whatevers and stuff. And I'm like, uh huh. Uh huh. Okay. I like what Danny Gandhi. says. Looks like the rock and drag. <laughs> yeah. <I> just... <laughs> he does look like the rock and drag. <laughs> so, yeah, he's no different than Gandhi. I mean, I guess nope. it's okay, right? I don't well, know. Look, this one here got? is Muslim. Here's a Muslim one Sheikh Mohammed Al Gamelia, Muslim. Okay, so here we go. Cons uh, considered to be mainstream, westernized, and the man who actively participated in activities type, it was exposed after after the uh, September one one day, in two thousand one. His uh, home country of Egypt, AI Gamma, gave interview, and he said Jews were responsible for the uh, September thing. I'm not going to say it exactly because. You know, well, algorithm I, on YouTube will knock us off. Yeah, they got it for tax. They got they yeah, well, they, they so, got the insurance. Uh, they got the insurance. So, for it. They got the insurance. So basically, yeah. uh, I'm gonna skip that one. I, I, well, they know, got I the got well. I mean, they they did get the insurance money for the twin towers, and they used the money to build a new one with. So yeah, they kind of all collab together. It's a it's a working <laughs> it's a working engine. It's a, Look, Gandhi, Gandhi was the, was only, the leader, only world leader who wore, who wore a diaper. A, he wore a diaper. Yes, he did. <laughs> I'm gonna go on a hunger strike. Uh, what does that have to do with God and religion? <laughs> Why do you have them girls in your bed, there, skinny man? Okay, what's up? Uh, <laughs> uh, then here's a now. This guy's a Catholic. John Gongin and Paul R. <laughs> Shanley. Uh, Shanley is a key figure in the Boston uh, Clary sex abuse scandal, which accused of of uh, raping a boy repeatedly in the '80s. He was previously Whoa. been uh, lauded as a street priest who championed the cause of troubled teens. So he went after the weak, basically. Oh yeah, and, and all that. So, uh, so well, yeah. he was he was accused of more of a hundred and fifty kids. And when he did his court, I'm not gonna read it because I don't want you to pick up on yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. But basically, he he picked on the ones who were already weak, maybe on drugs, ran away from not home. Easy, drugs. easy taking. Prostitutes, e male prostitutes. Well, it's no different. Remember the uh, remember that mayor? Remember the mayor of Seattle, the one who's trying to start the bike thingy, all the bicycle thingy. And then there was like this guy come out of nowhere, and he's like, "I was 14 years old, and we were sleeping together." And he's all like, 
I'm all about the gay community, which is okay, whatever, man. You know, he's all about some, you know, more, like, then later on they found out he was like a player. He was like rolling the same shit as he was doing. Yep. He got kicked out of office. <laughs> yep. Yeah. <laughs> they're all they're all hypocrites. They're all hypocrites. Well, yeah, every one now, of them. Here's Pete a Carl Jewish man. Oh, Archie yeah. Lanner, Jewish. Offense. Oh. Lanner was accused of abusing children under his care from the 70s to the late 90s. Oh. Uh, he denied all charges. Of course they do. He yeah. accused claimed that Lanner's superiors knew of his behavior but failed to take action. So hold on a second. So his accusers claimed that Lanner's superiors knew of his behavior who failed to take action. But you know what? Uh, that happens in Ugh. in corporations, companies where a lot of these people knew what they were doing, but they did nothing. Like no, 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 no difference than Weinstein, uh, the Weinstein oh, guy from his uh, is a Maxwell, Max, uh, uh Mary yeah, Max. yeah. He was doing all these bad things. Everybody knew, but they tried. Well, he wasn't doing head. anything bad. I, I, I'm a big supporter of uh, Weinstein. I don't think he did anything bad. Um, he's no different than some professor that rolls his fucking students. So he's got a bunch of people that want to be super actors. They want to be superstars. They're all adults. And they walk in there and he's like, hey, you know, I could use a little scratch. If you want to scratch it, I could kind of move you up the line. It's called nepotism. No different than any other Freemasonry place. So he rolled a little nepotism around. Also, that Jewish leader, isn't Ron Jeremy uh, a porno star? And he himself was, in fact, Jewish. And he is famous for all his escapades and pornography in fact i'm a big ron jeremy fan also i think ron jeremy was originally a school teacher wasn't he mm. i Let think so was ron i think, he, I think it was a school teacher oh, ron yeah, jeremy yeah. was ron jeremy a school teacher let's see here yeah, he was a school teacher uh well, ronald is an american writer the former pornographic actor uh uh, uh okay oh, here we go ron jeremy was a special education teacher before sure. pursuing a, a porno career so yeah and epstein yeah, was, ron a, school jeremy was a school teacher well epstein was a school teacher epstein was a school teacher they found out he didn't have a degree and he got fired but you know he was a school teacher for a long time so a lot of these a lot of these guys were school teachers shit casting couch his minion uh Lizzo, uh headline is currently directing Ruining the new Star Wars series, The Acolyte. I liked, I liked, I liked him. I, I liked, you know. Well, Acolyte hasn't came out yet. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I, I, I liked him as a as a casting director or a casting producer, or whatever. I, I liked all his movies. I, well, I think out, what Duke's know? talking about, I know what he's talking about because when I the saw the trailer, out. when I saw the trailer of Acolyte, that's going to be coming out. On, on one end, you know, you you got cinema, you got Max HBO that's coming out. You know, The Last of Us, fantastic one hour show. Yeah. Um, yeah. Uh, I just saw the tra the two trailers for the House of Dragon. Oh my God, people! If you have not seen the Penguin trailer on Max, it looks oh, like Penguin. a Godfather Soprano, and those are an hour. Wow. And then, and then Bob, then you go over to Disney Plus. Yeah, you look at this Aguilette trailer. These are only thirty minute shows, and they look like too clear. It doesn't look like a movie. It doesn't look yeah. like you know what I mean. It doesn't like HBO looks like something you watch at the movies. It, wow, it, it's you know. So I, I know yeah. what he's talking about because yeah, because uh, the casting couch. Uh, if anybody watched it, I did. I hated the Ahsoka series. I don't even know what that is. That's a Star Wars series. It was the last. It was the last oh. uh, series that was on uh, Disney oh. Plus. Mm -mm. The, yeah, I didn't uh, watch it. Now, I will say this, Duke. I am going to say this: the best thing that's ever done by Disney is the Andor series. Yeah, but yeah, the Andor, like Andor series is done by. It's this is kind of weird. Gilmore, by like this Andor. is kind of weird. Maybe it's not weird. The Gilmore guy who technically was the real director of Rogue One movie has said that he never cared for Star Wars, doesn't really like it. But when he makes them, he makes them like a World War II movies because he doesn't like Star yep. Wars. And those turn out to be the best. They are the best. They're really good. They're like the original originals.
My friend, <laughs> Nona Boss, Marty. She's fantastic. <laughs> you remember Bob? Uh, uh, Nona Boss, yeah. her son was one of the young guns that we had. On, we did a show with the young guns, and they're all coming on, all, all the Bigfoot people and all that. Yeah, that's cool. It's Fun so guy. cool to have to have a mom that's that's into Bigfoot and all that, too. Yeah, it supports her kid, man. That's supports awesome, isn't it? Okay, so so this yeah. guy, so this guy, uh, he's a former uh, Boston help shuffle priest. Another another Boston guy. What's going on with Boston and their priest? Ah, uh, who cares? Let's go to this one. Here's a Jewish one. Rubber, f- Rubby Fred, yep. Rabbi, Rabbi, Rabbi. Oh, okay, sorry, Rabbi, yeah. uh, Rabbi Fred. Okay, Rabbi his Rabbi. offense. He was charged with hiring two men, Lynn and Paul. To murder his wife. Oh, shit. In 1994. So here's a rabbi that you're supposed to respect, that's supposed to be morals to the people of this wonderful world, and he's hiring people to kill his wife. The devil you know. That's exactly what I'm talking about. That's the devil. You got to be careful when you hire a killer. You got you guys can't be hiring like dumb people from the fucking interwebs, man. You got when you hire a, an assassin, you gotta you gotta get it from the quality till, man. Yeah, this guy fucked up. He got caught. It's it's like was like Fargo. He he got he got he had a Fargo happen to him. Remember Fargo? How they uh, he hired yeah. the uh, yeah yeah he pulled a Fargo. It's just, it's just like. I don't know. I don't understand. You know, when you watch these um, criminal shows or these documentary yeah. criminal shows, they could find almost anything like DNAs and stuff to, yeah. to find killers. And when you can't yeah. find people to do this kind of a work, they're not yeah. smart people. No, they're not smart. They're going to get caught. And, and once they get caught, they're going to squeal on you so fast. Yeah, they want a plea deal. Yeah, that's why the real They're assassins not smart charge people. Real assassins charge a lot of money because you get the insurance that they're not going to turn. They're going to turn. They're going to drop a dime on you, so that you know you're okay. Even if they get caught, you're not going to drop a dime. They only get half the money. They completely they get the rest of the money, and they don't drop a dime. So this guy fucked up. He probably went to the interwebs and got some cheap guys off the dark web, probably Silk Road or something. Yep. Yeah. This guy's a perfect one, as the devil you know. And here we yeah. go. Oh, look at this guy, oh, uh, Cheek Omar. Muslim looks like a Santa. Claus. Uh, I'm see, he's known as the blind Sheik. Uh, Abdul Rahman is believed to be the mastermind behind the 1993 plot for the World Trade Center before coming to U.S. Uh, you know, so he's another devil. We don't want to, it looks like Santa Claus. He's like, is he was he at a Christmas party? We took that picture. I know, right? Yeah, no, that's that's a Santa Claus hat. You know, he looks like you know how Santa, ZZ like Top, Santa. Uh, you know how ZZ Top lost their uh, bass player. I forgot his oh. name uh, years ago. He looks yeah. like he actually he could replace him in ZZ yeah. Top. He's like, I like he's ready to be in ZZ Top. Maybe that, maybe that he's um, um getting ready to say, hey, I want to join a ZZ Top band and play Sharp Dressed Man. No, I think he's just taking a pose at a, a Christmas party. First, we already talked about uh, Jimmy Swagger. You know, oh yeah, Jimmy Swagger was the one who, like I said, got his whole army to go after Ozzy. And then, of course, he gets caught. And then Ozzy has so much fun with it. They create a song about him of uh, having his uh, being caught with his pants down. <laughs> yeah, yeah, it happens. It happens, man. Fuck. So, I know. I mean, it's, it's, but it's just funny because. <sighs> He brainwashed the world to say Ozzy's the evil bat guy. I know. And he was the one. And you know what's funny? Not not funny, but but Bob, you remember this how the whole world thought that Alice Cooper was a devil worshiper. He did oh, yeah. all this, and he's more Christian than any anybody. He, he's he's a very religious guy that well, Alice Cooper. In the 80s, it was a gimmick, man. They're a satirist. They're a gimmick. Gimmick. They're glam band gimmickies, man. It was just for fucking... It's just for album sales, man. <laughs> they weren't worshipping no devil. <laughs> uh, here's a Robert Tilton, Christian. Oh, he looks evil. Yeah, doesn't he? <laughs> He's got uh, he became hair, popular uh, televised in 1980s with the show Success and Life. 
ABC TV primetime live program reported in 1991 that tennis ministry threw away nearly 10,000 pounds of prayer requests without reading them. What? I don't, what? Wow. While pocketing the money of viable sent a donation by viewers. Oh, okay. So I guess you, uh, you pay, you send yeah, you your prayer, prayer request. Yeah. And he took the money and he threw away 10,000 priests and he just kept his money where yeah. he estimated 80 million a year. Nice. His ministry. The word of faith, the word of outreach center. God damn, man. I need to become a Christian, dude. I can get you know laid. What? I can do cocaine on prostitutes asses. Um, I can make money off fa- prayer papers. Shit, dude. What are we doing wrong? What I know. Wrong, I know. Eric? We're doing hey, it wrong. Hey, everybody in the chat. If you guys want to uh, send a prayer, that, uh, Bob, I don't know how much uh, send me a prayer. charge. What do you think we yeah. should charge? Two bucks a prayer? Yeah, two bucks a prayer at least. I got to get my uh, Malachi Martin beads out for um, this one, though. Let's get our PayPal out. And let me yeah, see here. Yeah. Uh, do I have? Uh, let me see here. Uh, Put the PayPal out, dude. Put the PayPal okay. out. We're going to get some. All right, there's the PayPal, going. people. And uh, if you uh, donate a prayer, we will possess your prayer for you. Well, we're not gonna possess your prayer. We're gonna, we're gonna answer. Possessed. Well, we're gonna, we're gonna pass it on to God. Like so, in nomine patri filius spiritus tu sante. That would be two dollars, all of you in the sidebar, please. Two dollars, Pastor Wu. <laughs> two dollars, two dollars, please. Where's my two dollars? <laughs> and and I'll read your guys's um, prayers on air. <laughs> <laughs> Here's a, a Hindu, a hairy Christian uh, hairy child Krishna. abuser. Hare Krishna, Scores, uh, hairy Krishna, uh, Krishna. Christian teachers and leaders were accused of physically, emotionally, and sexually abusing hundreds of children in the movement boarding schools. Again, these are oh people gosh. that you're supposed to look up and you don't. And um, now, everybody, if you guys notice on the thumbnail, you know, I even have uh, Bill Clinton on there because, again, a president is supposed to be a man of morals, supposed to be the moral, you know, that's why you vote him in, moral, right? And, of course, he gets caught, and, of course, he denied it to the world. Well, yeah. Then he got caught. But the thing is about about what, what surprises me is, now, listen. Him cheating is no different than any man or woman who cheats on their person. Well, Donald Trump grabbed a handful of pee or a, a, he a poontang. But, he got, I got a handful of poontang. I'm like, oh, okay. Bob, <laughs> oh, Bob let, me tell you, let me ask you something. Let's pre- let's pretend. Let's pretend you're president in the United States of America. Yeah. And yeah. Uh, and you're, you're real. You have, uh, you know, I don't know. You have wives, whatever, and. Uh, your Lots secretary comes in and uh, you know you're getting caught and you're famous for the cigar thing. Now, a man's I man, a cigar. a cigar, smoke this cigar, and then you go on TV saying, I did not cheat. <laughs> then you get caught and you cheat. Now, this is a question I want to ask you, Bob. Now, again, Bill Clinton did nothing. You got a yeast nothing. infection. You got extra what anybody else has done their life, but yeast is infection. is Bill the evil, or is it people who kept supporting him by his books? You know, support the Clinton family <laughs> even after he lied, cheated, <laughs> did a cigar thing with the secretary, but everybody still supports him. Like you said, like you said, tr- okay. let's go to Trump, Trump and Biden. We're both been accused that they both grab women, but these two are still running against each other and put there by the people. So again, is, they're all orange negative blood. Bill, related. Is Bill Clinton is um uh Donald Trump and uh Biden are they the devils or are the people who support these people the devils? Or they just represent the people 100 percent how the people are. Uh, you know, exactly. I'm like, I'm like, okay, so you know, Clinton, you know, our Earth President Bill Clinton. Okay, yeah, he had the, oh. he had, you know, whatever is, and then and he gets an award down in the uh, Kennedy, Kennedy. Oh Everybody yeah, knows with, Kennedy, yeah, uh, Kennedy had an Rowe. affair with Monroe and Monroe, yeah, Marilyn Monroe. Monroe. Yeah, Marilyn Monroe, Monroe. Was I mean, dead. who does it? Like, I think uh, Brad Pitt 
uh, Brad Pitt is dating a model girl that's in her early 20s. Why not, right? You don't give a fuck. And she's married to a famous chef who is allowing his wife to date. <laughs> because they, okay, so they're all, okay, here we go back again, Robert Wood. Yeah, no, look at the fucking statistics and look at all the information, look at all the data. They're RH negative blood types, which, and they're the smallest percentage of the world population, which means they are related. They're all related. And so when you go to the eyes wide shut parties, you could do what you want, man, with anybody you want. And so now they're in a public office and now they have to maintain cool for the RH positives to go, oh, he's such a good man. He's such a good man. Nah, here, nah, <laughs> nah, nah, Bill Clinton. No way, man. You see what no I'm way. getting at? Like, like, you know, should we be afraid of Thanking from hell, or should we yeah. be more afraid of people themselves? You know, they're the <laughs> one. The, yeah, they're the first ones to scream. That rock band, they're playing some goddamn satanic music. And meanwhile, he's got a prostitute with some like cocaine on her butt cheeks. Shut up, baby. Get back in the house. Shit, my wife's gonna call pretty soon. Shit. Anyway, where was I? All them rock and roll satanic people. Like, shut up, man. <laughs> You're right. And the funny thing is all those people, all those people in office who um who called, like you said, metalheads, all these names. Yeah. Like, they were the ones who were cheating and all that and all that. Now listen, rock stars admit they had groupies, they weren't hiding nothing. Like they didn't they hide anything. Us, we give ourselves to them. They were they were just as bad as cheating on their wives and husbands as rock stars were they've taken on the creed uh drug sex and rock and roll and they pretty much wore it on their t-shirts you're like well that's what you're getting this is what they are they're drug sex and rock and roll now uh, most of them burn out and die early because they die of drug sex and rock and roll however they're not hiding it however it's not healthy now the other ones hide it they hide it so well when they get caught all of a sudden it's their fault it's everybody else's fault but mine Oh, well, look at this. Okay. Everybody knows, like, Tom Lee from Motley Crue has cheated so many times on his wives and all yeah. that, right? And the yeah. thing is, Tom, but the thing is, Tom Lee's a man. He admits, I yeah. fucked up, right? The difference is when uh, uh, when somebody in office, in the government, state governments, when they get caught, they're still lying about it. They still oh, try yeah. to say they didn't do it. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's uh, yeah, yeah. We we go we get we go to the private uh, grove and the private parties where they do that anyway in a hidden setting and they do it anyway. Some of them, uh, like Anthony Weiner, got caught showing his wiener on a on a you know like come on. And, and, and the thing is, Bob, even after that, he still ran. You know, I, he I don't still ran. I'm like all all of them are. It's it's called it's called nepotisms, and they're all related. They're all doing <laughs> it. Every one of them. The ones that the, the ones that are here are the ones who got caught. That's it. That's it. it it's the almost ones like who are the real devils out there? Yeah, I mean, like when I go, like I, sometimes the cousins are like, "Hey, you gonna go to the Christian retreat?" I said, "Nah, dude," because I get everybody upset when I go there. I start asking people, like, "Seriously, you born again? Tell me what you've done, man." And it's so bad. I'm like, "Yeah, okay." So don't judge, dude. Judge not, lest ye be judged, because you're all being fucking judged, man. And every one of you are rotten as a motherfucker. Half the guys that scream uh, gay shit are the ones masturbating to gay porno. I'm like, really? Come on, man. I bet if I went into your computer, no. to be a tranny section in there. <laughs> now, some people will say, um, some people say, well, Eric, they're not doing anything different than regular people are doing every day in life. But I go, yeah, but the difference yeah. is, the difference is these people put themselves in front of a screen, in front of a camera, yeah. talk about good morals, and they're doing it. Like, Bob, if you cheated on five yeah, different people... You're not going on camera and talking about I'm a moral person. You should be better than you're not. Just yesterday, uh, Cicely yeah. and, uh, and Violet was watching something on HBO documentary. Uh, some woman on YouTube, I forgot her name was. Maybe somebody in the chat would know. It's on. It's a. It's a. It's a documentary on, on Cinemax or, or not Cinemax HBO, that. She was uh, putting herself on YouTube as the most perfect mom, and then oh, that made it a beat her kids, beat her kids, bruises, beat her kids. Yeah, I mean, I mean, I mean, 
she present herself as the perfect mom. It turns out was never what it was like. That's the worst kind of devil when they they say you're this, but turns yeah. out they he would beat her kids if they didn't act properly in front of yeah. people to look but, like she's the perfect mom. But let me say this though: this is where I don't like anything, and everything's fucking everything's backwards and made wrong on purpose. Because our dad, when we got me and Mike got in a fight, including you, we all got the belt. We got the belt. My dad pulled out the belt, snapped it, drop your freaking drawers, put your hands against the wall. We put our hands against the wall. We got swatted with the belt. And believe me, we deserved it. And I've <laughs> turned out to be a damn good person from it. And then my kids didn't have to. I didn't, I didn't use the belt on my kids. I pulled it out and did the snappings, but I didn't ever use it like dad did because back in that time, because in our time, you can go to jail. But uh, back then, uh, you know, our uncles, same thing. Put your boys, all, all the cousins. Remember, Eric, you remember all the cousins. Yeah. Put your dad. But, but again, they weren't going on front of cameras to try to pretend they're supposed to be yeah. these perfect people. I'm not saying right yeah. or wrong. Yeah, yeah, now, what yeah. this lady did was she took that extra step and not feed them. I mean, she really. Yeah, she probably know. sent them to. She, here's what she did. She probably spanked them and sent them to the room without dinner which was a normal thing to do. Like if I've sit there and made a complaint about whatever it was, but that's like, don't eat it. Go to your room. <laughs> oh, but that's you're you're killing me. Father. I'm going to starve the children. And not. Nah, she sent them to the fucking room without dinner it was what they used to do. It gave them a swat on the ass was what they used to do. And now she's sitting in a courtroom where she used it's the normal disciplinary things that we don't do now. And now we have a generation that runs around in the, the why me generation or, or give me, give me generation. And the, the everybody's a fucking soft noodle generation. And now we wonder why. Because that woman is sitting in a courtroom because she sent her son to the bedroom without dinner. <laughs> she, and they probably told that to a, they get these, they get these fucking, they get these soft ass counselors sitting in a fucking, uh, tell us what happened to you, honey. <laughs> and then she wouldn't feed me. What did she do? She took my food away. Oh, and what happened then? And she put me in the room and then put the, shut the door and turned off my internet. Oh my God. Call the police. Oh, oh Call uh, the police. And then, and then, Bob, um, she spanked you. Then the, there was this other documentary yeah. they started watching. Uh, I forgot the guy's name. It was somebody is in the is in the is the Nickelodeon. Uh, I guess it was a kid star, and he became like a producer and stuff. He produced kids, but he put adult like hidden sexual things inside the TV show. For uh -oh. for example, I was watching this like like who like an eighties movie. This? I never watched these Nickelodeon Nickelodeon TV shows. Oh, like an 80s but, movie. Uh, uh, but like uh there's a show called iCarly or something. And yeah. there's that singer, art that famous uh R and B singer that that girl, yeah. whatever. Uh Dan Snyder, Dan Snyder, thank you, thank you, yeah. thank you. So so like for example, like Dan Snyder would put a scene for this girl to do grabbing potato. Like like it's a like it's a man's part, yeah. And made her like do this on air to say I need the juices. I'm like, huh. I'm like I never watch this huh. stuff, and then you're showing I've like all this that. all this stuff where where he had like things squirt on people's faces. And this guy named oh. Dan Snyder, and huh. then and like 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 wow, you know, you're like sitting there. I never watch. Is it like uh, the Nickelodeon? Bell. Yes, he he produced that. Yeah. Is it like yeah. the Nickelodeon when they get spooged? When they all get spooged? Yeah, oh no, you slimed me! Apparently, this guy, Slimes. Dan Snyder, it's a, it's a, it's a docu series. I didn't finish it or nothing, but apparently, yeah. he would he would do this. Now, then, my wife said that 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 Hollywood, who supposedly make these movies to show how evil the world is sometimes, and when they're evil themselves, because they said my wife said that there's a documentary story about Shirley Temple when they were kids. When they want to shut up in a scene, they would take out blocks of ice and make these kids sit on these blocks of ice to force oh. them to shut up. 
Wow. Wow. And this is Hollywood, right? And they're supposed like I would have just the them. movies out there to say I would just know, take the belt off and whack the fuck out of their asses. It's, it's, I guess, a, well, I guess a block of ice is better than what I would have done. I would have said, "Take your, I'm gonna spank the shit out of you. Take my fucking shoe off and chuck it. Get the hell out of here. And shut up. Well, did nah, shut up. What the hell wrong with yeah, you talking and, like that? You walk into the house swearing like that. Walking in, you smell like fucking alcohol. You know. <laughs> What the hell? Can I be? I be. <laughs> now again, I don't want to say too much about the dance night because I didn't watch all the uh, documentary. It's a documentary yeah. series, and then one of the coolest thing. There's this uh, a director, Bob. This actually, I respect yeah. this director. I, I forgot yeah. his name, but okay, you know they're making a Michael Jackson biopic, right? Of course they. Yeah. Are, right. Yeah. They're making a biopic, and this director said before, you know, they offered him like to direct it first, and they gave him the script. And when I respect this director, he goes, I can't direct this. This is purely whitewash. You took everything out, all his cases, all his things, and made this guy look like he was the most perfect man alive. He's like, I'm well, not going to direct this. I'm like, wow. Well, so, again, I'm, but you yeah. know what? I mean, he, uh, he was all those movies, off. all those movies, you and I know, they're kind of like whitewash. Listen, Bohemian Rhapsody, yeah. good movie. But listen, there's a scene where the band members were sitting at a party with their wives. Listen, in real life, those band members were not in a party with their wives. They were like coking it up and all that. So we all know movies get whitewashed. But I will say one of the things I appreciate about Motley Crue's The Dirt movie on Netflix. Yeah. They show Tommy slap a girl in the face. They show them cheating on each other's fiancés and stuff so they didn't whitewash nothing they're like fuck it yeah we did it you know i gotta be careful because if they took me in a uh, like if i was stood in front of like gabriel and he had a big old book in front of his hand he says you ever slap a woman i said yeah a lot of times and the, and, and gabriel was like what i said no i slap him on the ass though I mean, i've slapped a lot of asses i slap ass so if i were to be asked have you ever slapped a woman yeah a lot of times in fact i've never slapped a man in my life i've only ever slapped women <laughs> I've never slapped them. I've only slapped them on the butt, but I've never slapped. A, I never slapped a man on the ass. I, I'm not even in football. I don't roll that way, man. I ain't slapping no man on the ass walking down the field. But so I always take the what people say, and I hear these certain things. I'm like, yeah, let's just delve into the actual what really happened. I'm like, okay, see so what really happened here. You're like, what is what is the agenda? Why are they trying to get people to separate and fight? For what reason? What did this person do? They took a belt to the ass of a fucking kid that deserved it. So, uh, did they send it without, you know, they said, or, or like, you know, I had to, I, you know, I, you know, nowadays punishment is technology. You get no internet for an hour and they shut it off. And you know, you got a spoiled brat running around and nothing will get built. No buildings will get built. Nothing's going to get created. No poetry, no fucking anything. So I remember, Eric, we're watching uh, Fast Times in Ridgevon High. And I'm sitting there as a teenager, and then one girl is sitting in the cafeteria teaching another girl how to give a blowjob. On a carrot. With a, with a carrot. And I'm like, whoa, that's so cool. And then after she was all done, she, and everyone clapped, all the other students like, yay. You know, I, that was okay. But now? Oh, oh God, no. no. Oh, oh, somebody's no. going to jail. No, no, no. Somebody's <laughs> going to jail. No. Oh no. no. I was uh I, I was writing with um Gabriel and and there's a winger song that came on the radio called 17. Winger. And we're like we're like that's that's creepy now. But and I'm yeah. like well, I go you know Gabriel goes Gabriel goes that's really creepy. I go yeah, but Gabriel in the 70s Kiss made a song called 16, Christine 16. <laughs> Yeah, and you ABBA. Can't, you and can't ABBA do that nowadays. You can't write a song about Christine sixteen. Here's here's the funny thing. I, I mean, as an anthropologist, I'm gonna tell you guys the straight up truth. Here's what here's what's fucking going on. Here is the evidence of what we have in front of us, and this is what they're creating for all this bullshit that they're putting out in everyone's face about the uh, uh, whatever generation. Did you guys know that when you look at uh, uh, children, kids in high school in the seventies. Look at kids in high school in the 80s, and you're going to see big, solid, testosterone dudes with fucking beards in high school. 
and you got big, solid fucking, and women, like, they look like they're like 26 years old walking around with their clothes on. But now, because there's a soft generation and there's low testosterone and men are losing their Y chromosome, you've got, you look at the, you look at high school now, they're really, I can't even go skinny. I don't even know how to be fucking small. I, they're like little dainties. I'm like, they have no, no power, no strength, uh, no discipline, no worth ethics, no nothing. I'll the, have, you'll see. Will never slap you? <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, I have. Oh, I got slapped by a lot of women. <laughs> I didn't get mad either. I'm like, oh, I guess I deserve. No, I've gotten slapped by a lot of women and deserved it. It, what comes around comes or what comes around goes around. And in the 70s, 60s, 70s, 80s, whatever, it comes around, goes around. A woman can kick your fucking ass. This is equal. And if it's not appropriate, it wasn't acceptable, she'll let you know. And you got nothing else to do about it. But take a good beating. And that's how it was. But not now. Oh, no. I I, I don't identify. You don't identify with what? <laughs> you know, I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get it. We got ten minutes left. I want to I, I want to uh, uh, bring up a movie about yeah. like b since we're talking about this, and I'm gonna put this link in the chat here, people. And the Slap reason the is there's a me. movie that you can actually watch Damn. right on YouTube for free. The movie is called Evil Speak. Evil Speak. Evil Speak. That's one with uh, Ron Howard's brother. Um... Oh, he's the B one. Yeah. Yeah. Oh fuck, man. Ron Howard's uh, little brother. <laughs> that's all I ever know him as. He's uh, the little Howard. He's the little Howard that's in every B movie ever made. Is always the Ron B actor. Howard <clears throat> brother. Yeah. Uh Clint Howard. Clint. Okay. So so in the movie, guys, you, you can watch you go and again you can watch Evil Dead for free right there on YouTube. So in the movie. Uh, Clint is a poor kid. Parents died, and he gets a scholarship to a military school that's very religious. And 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 mil and what I like about this movie is the military and the and the, the military school and the preachers on that they're supposed to be people that bring that teaches character to uh, teach you what becoming a man is about. Yeah. But if you watch this movie, it's about these I want people in power. I'm a vegetarian. Weren't, weren't treating you the same as everybody else. They weren't treating you like the rich kids. They were treating you like you were the devil. You were uh, uh, in the movie. They were treating him like he was shit and dirt when he never did anything wrong. That no, was a good movie. During the movie, <coughs> now he finds the devil's book. But, yeah, but, he did. But the thing is, the thing is, he didn't want to do it. But these kids and teachers. They killed his puppies. They yep. kept punish him. Yeah. Force him to like bring out the devil in the computer to get his Demon. revenge. But again, I ask you guys, if you guys watch this movie, Bob seen it. Yeah. Was the devil the from hell the evil one in this movie? Or yeah. was it the teachers, the students? Yeah, it was teachers. The shops were the demons. Yeah, it was everybody else but the demon. The demon was the Avenger, and actually the demon was the hero who saved exactly. Clint Howard. And I'm like, that makes sense from everyone else. Everybody else is evil. Here's the thing about this place that I've realized. The demons aren't evil. People are. People are the more evil people. People are evil. The other side seems to be nice. <laughs> Yeah, maybe we got it backwards. <laughs> maybe well, it's always again, been backwards. Again, in in in, in, in a it, weird way, isn't the Jesus the morning star? These bad kids that were going to grow up to be rapists and killers and and, yeah. and 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 hurt the poor. Yeah, you know what I mean. So yeah. there's a lot of truth in that movie where mm. people were the devil. And let's go to another movie. Yeah. Let's talk about this other movie, Trick or yeah, Treat. Correct. God. Not 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 the 2000 version. I'm talking about the original 1980, 84 or 87 trick or treat, where the the character is Sammy Kerr. He was he was banned from his high school. They banned him from playing there. Religious people were attacking him. 
made him feel like he's alone. Ozzy Osbourne played a preacher in this and all that, was bashing everything about rock and yeah. roll. Yeah. So in the movie, yeah. there's a fire that happened yeah. where he, where Sammy yeah. Kerr died, right? So he died. Now, now the kid who played on Family Ties was the star in this movie. Again, he was just a rock and roller, but he got picked on. They they kicked him. They almost Bob in that movie. People don't forget they put weights in his shirt in his, in yeah. his backpack and put him in a pool. Put him in the pool. Tempted it wasn't murder. for the girl. They were trying to murder him. So murder him. Took a record, played it backwards. And Sammy Kerr came out from hell, but yes. to revenge him, with all these people. But again, was Sammy Kerr the evil one? No, or was he wasn't. it these kids who tried to murder him? How's that song go? Stand up and be, was and it? be counted. counted. Stand up and be counted. Yeah, 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 yeah. And he goes after everybody. Fuck yeah. He's fucking going revenge. They tried to murder Save him. Save that kid. Save that kid. Again, isn't Jesus the morning star? Isn't that freaking Lucifer? Shit. Isn't uh, Venus the representation of... Well, I don't know. It's going into a tangent. But, you know, maybe everything is backwards. And now we're figuring it out. Well, he Heavy metal is the real music. Another one, right? I mean, I guess you could technically say that the Crow character was a good person got murdered by bad people a and then it person. took him to find the evil to help person. him to get revenge on them like he was like a wonderful time, person his evil he, he, even though people that the the new trailer for the for the the crow i freaking hated it but that's that's another story but man walks into a bar he hands the bartender three nails he says can you put me up for the night but a bit of a boom I might be mistaken, but I think Clint Howard was the little boy. Oh, no, no, Ron Howard he, was the little boy in the Andrew Howard. Griffith show. Ron Howard was that boy. I, you know, was Clint ever in? He might, he might have been. He might have had. He might have been, been a guest, guest appearance. appearance. Yeah, you, you might be right. <laughs> the big song soundtrack was "Get You After Mid." Yeah, get you. After midnight. no 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 uh, no Wait. uh the song stand you're saying and be is called stand up uh get you after midnight was a lyric in the song yeah it was Come a lyric on. in the song yeah, yeah it was a lyric uh, in the song i know i i Good have the one. soundtrack here i own the soundtrack yeah. trick or uh let's all fight against the christians gather around uh and of course the music is by fastway uh, now there's a song called there. Now there is a song called that. Yeah, their song we're talking about is "Stand Up." They do have a song called "After Midnight," just called. And then of course the main song "Trick or Treat." That's the where he was playing guitar on the stage. Yeah, and was shooting people, tearing down the wall with his with his electric guitar. <laughs> yeah, die you false people. <laughs> yes. Yes, isn't isn't God's name now in the Bible? Uh, revenge or something like that. Shit, we might be in a place like that, man. I think this is gonna happen, Eric. I think heavy metal is gonna take over everything since all the music is now. Uh, what's her name? A Taylor Swift. What we need is a new fucking. Uh, was it Sammy Kerr? We need a Sammy Kerr to take over, and then get rid of Taylor Swift. Watch men's testosterone start to increase. Watch men start getting bigger. Oh my God, I feel like eating a steak. I've been eating tomatoes with a nice little Chianti and um, my friend's coming over later with a nice tossed salad. Yeah. What the fuck is wrong with no. you, man? I think her yeah. devil is, you know, she's all about the fans. No, only the fans that have money to be able to pay thousands yeah, of dollars for a ticket. Out. Yeah, she's for those yeah. people, not, not yeah. the people. Little Miss 13. Oh. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, she's all about You're talking she's about, about Opie. I'm talking about the little boy that would stick the peanut butter and jelly sandwich up yeah. at Andy's bar. Uh, yeah. Bar and bar. Oh, okay. That's okay. what I'm thinking, too. I think you're okay. right. You are right. That's what I was. That's why I supported yours, dude. I think you're right. I think I remember that. It, that was a cameo with his little brother. Yeah. Fucking A. Yeah. What well, a almost, well, everything that Ron Howard does now, he always puts his, like, Little my brother God. in all his movies, you know. I want a t-shirt with his face on it, man. I want 
I want a B side. I want a B side T shirt. You guys remember? You guys remember Road Warrior? And you had you had the, the crazy guy with the with the uh, he's got the fucking whatever's on his wrist. He's got the uh, 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 what do they call that? Uh, uh, whatever gun. It shoots a, it shoots it out, and and he's got the he's got the, the the bitch boy on the back of his motorcycle. This holds the club like this. I want that guy on a T-shirt. I want, <laughs> in fact, I want Uncle Owen. Out of all the Star Wars characters, I just want a picture of Uncle Owen. Out of all of them, like, I've got, what do you got, man? I've got Luke Skywalker. I've got this fucking guy. I've got Darth Vader. Who you got? I got Uncle Owen. Or even Aunt. Aunt, uh, well, what's her name? Is Uncle Owen and Aunt something. I can't remember her. I have her on a t-shirt. Uncle, cool. oh, Aunt, oh, Uncle Owen and, and oh. I want to say Aunt B, but it's not Aunt B. I want Aunt B on a t-shirt also. Let me see here. All the B-sides. Uncle, Uncle. Uncle Owen and Aunt. I'm just seeing if I type that in. With it, Aunt Bear, Bear, B E R U. Aunt Bear. Aunt, uh, Aunt B E R U. Aunt Bear. Bear oh, here. Uncle Aunt Owen. B. And, and, <laughs> it is Aunt B. Aunt B. So it yeah, B is for sure. Aunt B. B. I want. I want. I want Aunt Uncle. I want a picture of Uncle Owen and Aunt B, <laughs> like like American Gothic. Both looking at you straight ahead in the t-shirt, you know, like who is that? That's fucking Uncle Owen and MB. What, what what Star Wars shirt you have on? I've got fucking all this other. Why would you have Aunt, Aunt B on your? Why not? Nobody gives her any credit, man. She had to take care of fucking Luke Skywalker, and he was a brat. Shit, he saved the universe. So, so are you? Uh, um, since it's a party over there, are you uh, skipping a show tonight on your channel? Are you gonna? You're gonna no, gonna I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna be very drunk while doing it. Yeah. Are you gonna have the legendary bear grease on there? Bear grease is here. However, he's been he's moving some merchandise around. He's moving. He's actually no lie. He's moving lots of merchandise. Yes. So he's coming and going. Yeah. Also, but he dropped me off some uh, merchandise, which is going to be fun to smoke. I don't, God knows what's in it. So, see, he's know. having a party. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm, I mean, the only thing I'm doing tonight is I'm, I am going to go watch the new Ghostbusters movie. Oh, know, Bill Murray's in it. You know, Bill Murray and the original team's oh, in it with the kids. So, so, that's cool. So the original good. people, except, except Harold Ramis, he's dead. Yeah, that'd be so good. But I guess his kids are in it, whatever you know, in, in the storyline, you know. So that's cool. Uh, well, yeah, but in, I guess in this one, they're they're all in it equally. So, so oh. the original's back. So 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 there's and they go back to New York. So they're gonna be in the whole the old fire hydrant place and and fighting fighting whoever they're fighting. Watched the Roadhouse yeah. last night. Yeah, that just came out on Amazon. Yeah, I watched that. Um, remake i was i wasn't i was only impressed with uh mcgregor i only liked his character i thought his character was hit made the whole movie everybody else was mediocre if not below mediocre until until mcgregor showed up made it made i couldn't stop laughing i was like this is a tough motherfucker <laughs> they made him so crazy i just loved it i loved his character and his character only I was. I don't want to give it away. Yeah, I, well, I haven't <laughs> watched it yet. I, I, I have to. I, I have I to watch it. I have to watch you, it. I think last night. I don't know why I was on Hulu and Firefly was there, so I just started watching Firefly again. And God, yeah, damn, that's such a good fucking series. Everybody, I'm not gonna give it any, any other information, but everybody had a PC. This new wave of PC bullshit feel all the way through. All PC, 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 and then McGregor came in. He was like something out of like the 80s, kind of a bad guy. He didn't follow any PC rules whatsoever. I doubt if they could even get him to follow those rules. He was himself and badass. I'm like, oh my God. They put him in a PC movie and I was like, he just completely ruined the PC movie. That's why I enjoyed it. The only reason why I enjoyed it. <laughs> You'll like it. Yeah. Well, beyond yeah. that, people, I hope everybody here have a great and fantastic um, uh, weekend and all that. I'll be back Monday, and then I'm picking out a new place to do uh, a trail walk and all that. Yeah. I'll try to do those live. 
You know, yeah. Bob helped me out yesterday with my live. He, I go, I asked him to call me if it doesn't work, and he did. Yeah, twice, it didn't work right. <laughs> so. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, you know, I apologize, guys. I went in the sidebar because I was literally working. I was watching. Look at those, look at those handsome men behind you. Oh, that's Bear Grease right there. He's mo- he's moving merchandise. And you can't. It, it's like mysterious. You can't. You can't. Oh. But but beyond that, I just want to tell people oh, think you got. Yeah. Oh, 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 fuck yeah. We brought you a code. Oh shit! They had a whole crowd here. Yeah, man, he's drinking. He's drinking professional water. Yeah, it's it's sterilized water. Beyond that, I want to say, I'll tell everybody, uh, uh, awesome that you're all here. Had a great time, and we'll let Bobby uh, not start. Keep going with his uh, with yeah. his water drinks. Remember, it's so it's acceptable to to spank your children because I did. And I'm not in jail. That, My kids we'll are see great. You guys next on the Paranormal Highway. We came, we saw, we kicked its ass. Did you see it?